This is Jason Donovan with the Wealth Titans, and today we are going to talk about how often you should check your portfolio. And while there are countless methodologies and research techniques out there, here at the Wealth Titans, we always like to start our discussion with the most important investment success factor. And this is the wiring of the human brain. We start with this because it has proven to be the most predominant investment success factor over time. So we're going to look at the direct answer to the question, is a how often to check our portfolio, then explore why frequency matters so much, and finally show you how to use this information to improve your investment process so you can monitor your portfolio like a pro. Unless you are a trader, you shouldn't be checking your portfolio more than once a year, and any more than once a year, and studies have actually shown that the chances of you getting a positive return dramatically decrease, and this is because there is a direct inverse relationship between the frequency with which you check your portfolio and the chances of a positive return. Now this relationship exists because of a phenomenon known as loss aversion. Most people would prefer to avoid loss rather than ensure a gain of equal size. And this results in a bizarre contradiction when it comes to investor behavior. Investors tend to be risk adverse when faced with gains but risk-seeking when faced with losses. In short, as a species, our brains are actually wired to react irrationally when faced with the possibility of a loss. This bias has proven to be very bad for investors and their portfolios. The table here is an excerpt from the book What Works on Wall Street, and it illustrates the chances of an investor having a positive return over a 29-year period based upon the frequency with which the investor checks his or her portfolio. And as you can see, the chances of having a positive return dramatically increase by essentially doing less work or checking your portfolio less. So as a result of loss aversion, investors hold losers too long and sell winners too soon. And since we have concluded that when it comes to checking your portfolio, less is indeed more, we should have automatic safeguards in place to reduce the frequency with which we have to check up on our portfolios. There are two steps we can take to automate our investment process in this regard. The first is to automate the rebalancing process. The process of rebalancing our portfolio should be predetermined and automatic. This way, we know ahead of time how to reallocate money and when it happens, it happens automatically so that we don't have to worry about emotions getting the better of us. Now the second is to have an automatic stop loss. And these are orders that you can set up ahead of time just in case the price of your stock or index drops dramatically. And since these are set up ahead of time, if the market suddenly makes a negative move, our stocks will automatically be sold to protect us from further losses. And these are great because as long as they are in place at reasonable levels, say 10 to 20% below our purchase price, we never have to worry about large market swings. So setting up our portfolio to automatically rebalance and have predetermined stops in place is the best way to remove loss aversion from the equation. It allows us to sleep soundly at night and be more objective when we finally do check our portfolio. So check in with your portfolio no more than once a year, but don't consider any major rebalancing or reinvestment decisions shorter than a three to five year period. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this informative and actionable. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out some other videos to your investment success.